how do you check a fuse on any car <laughs> what do we have here guys as always don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on parts and in this video tools we're going to be using for today's project and do not forget to like the like button and hit that subscribe thank y'all so much for doing that now what do we got here we have a pair of vice grips we got your your hood prop right here and we got your relay okay and he's just chilling you're gonna need this because you don't have like eight hands <laughs> so this is a power probe on your power probe you'll have an always negative okay these two right here now you're gonna want to look at the diagram on your relay okay and basically you're gonna have one that's connected it's gonna have something that looks like a battery in it then you're gonna have another set where it's gonna be like a swinging type thing it's gonna it's called like a something single pole double throw I don't remember the terms we learned it in school whatever you got poles and throws and basically it's kind of like a bridge that opens and closes and it makes a wire connection okay so you're gonna want to look and we know after looking at our diagram these two right here is like the bridge okay now this is the magnet that pulls that bridge closed closed means it's connected open means the bridge is open the wire is not connected anymore okay so and then you have some that are normally open and some that are normally closed most of them are going to be normally open and then when it activates it's going to close them all right so how do we test this thing what we're going to do is what a lot of people do is say hey what we're going to do oh i need to connect my thing back up here my little tool what they'll do is they'll say hey check this out here so when i hit this button it's going to send power remember we have always negative going right here so we're going to activate this relay so I'm gonna hit the button. I can even, and right, daggum it, that thing's good. <laughs> the problem is this one clicked, but it was still bad. How do we know that? So what we did is we took our other relay, the new one, the new one's on this car. I can just tell you, you're gonna wash, rinse, repeat. You're gonna do the same procedure I tell you, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But I took it, we're gonna take our DVOM, gonna set it to ohms and we're gonna check the resistance of the connection while it is activated okay so we'll look right now nothing right ol ol is over the limit so that means it's not connected so we're gonna try and do it try and do it like chopsticks and you get your fingers in there like that and then you're gonna hold it apart okay still nothing now when we hit this we're gonna have a negative here positive here we're gonna hit it and what we got so now you can see that number is hopping all over the place. It's not because I'm holding it the wrong way. It's because this magnet is not holding the bridge closed well enough. It's almost as if the bridge had a big spring pushing it. When you hit the magnet, it pulls it down against the spring and closes your bridge. This magnet's not strong enough. So the new one, it sat there and just held it and the resistance was correct. Some of them are gonna have zero resistance. This is a $40 relay. I imagine there's some kind of resistor in there. So this one did have a little bit of resistance. Um, on a more basic one, should just be like zero resistance. You could always take, you can always go to the part store, blah, blah, blah. go to the part store and buy one and compare the new one to the old one. Or like in the case of this car, you have multiple, like so this one, it was the red one. Let's see how we're looking. Hopefully, we see what we're seeing. Okay, so you got multiple red ones. You got one there, one there. For the black ones, these are all the same. You can take one that's not a problem and just compare the two. You know, if one has um, zero resistance and the other one's got like, I don't know, 30 ohms of resistance, you know, hey, there's a problem there. So that is basically how I check relays. Now there's, there's some relays that have five pins or six pins or seven or eight pins those are not going to be as simple to check you can still use the same principles if you have a schematic of what's inside the relay and you can check you know each different you know because sometimes it opens it part way sometimes there's three poles and it hits it this way that way and you can check each one of those too but this is the basic like a four pin relay that's how it works that's how you check them so hopefully now you can go out there and before spending forty dollars on a relay you can check the relay <laughs> Um, and make sure it's bad. So that's what I was able to do today for this this woman. So that's it. Now you should be able to check a relay on any car. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.